Preston, a strong exhibition win tonight for the Yellow Jacket men. You finished the game with 16 points, 8 rebounds, really played a complete game. Um, talk about the team effort and how you guys really finished the game tonight. It was good. We, uh, we closed out the game really good. Made a couple minor mistakes, uh, kind of scary mistakes, but uh, it was definitely a good team win for sure. You had a big block there down the stretch. It really energized the team with less than two minutes to play in the game. Uh, talk about that and the momentum and what the feeling was like uh, when you blocked that shot. Yeah, it definitely felt good for sure. Got the crowd going, got our team going defensively. And for our team, it's all about defense. We're not worried too much about the offensive end. Basically, all this week, Coach has been coaching like defensive effort. So, And I feel like uh, with that block and with our entire game, our de defensive play was perfect. And talk about some of the charges guys are taking. Cade had several. Yeah, Christian yeah. had one, too. Uh, talk about that effort. Yeah, Cade, for sure. We, we need guys to step up. Myself, everybody on the team, we all have to take charges. That's one of Coach's main points as well. Charges will change the game for us. And Cade took, I think, three, four. Kurt, uh, Christian Evans had two. We had a bunch of guys step up and take charges, and that's what we need because it's a game changer. And this just an exhibition game won't count on your record, but yeah. how does a win like this where you really close strong um, give you momentum when you got two more games coming up this weekend? It feels pretty good because uh, we're going to head into this weekend with a little bit of a chip on our shoulder, a little bit more momentum. You know, if, we, if um, this win basically is just boost our confidence, you know, going into this weekend, I feel like as long as we do exactly what we did this weekend, play, uh, play hard on defense first and then on offense and just have a defensive mindset going into this weekend, I feel like we can be successful. Well, you yeah, know, we talked about it at halftime because I thought we, you know, they jumped on us early in the first half and we responded well, got to halftime with a lead and, uh, you know, we just talked to those guys about, hey, you know, we'd, we'd been there, you know, down in California, both games we'd been there and uh, we did not finish, didn't play second halves very well and so it was, uh, it was, it was, it was good to see the guys respond and, and, and play a solid second half and, and uh, you know, that gives us something to build on, you know, that's why we play these exhibition games. Um, is because you know playing a game like that in that environment you know is better than any two weeks of practice we could have so so that's why we play those we got a lot of different situational stuff that's going to make us better moving forward spent some a good amount of time in practice this week working on taking charges and we saw Christian Evans take one there during a 9-0 run in the first half and that really sparked something I think Kate had three or four charges on the night talk about your guys I'm um, doing well in that department and defensively overall. Well, we talked about that a little bit in California. You know, Cade, you know, you don't, Cade's, uh, he's really good at obviously stepping up and understanding when an offensive player gets out of control. He's done a nice job of getting his feet out of that little mini arc, so that restricted arc. So, but, you know, going back through the videos, we had several chances. Other guys had chances to step up and take charges. And we've talked to the guys about the fact that a charge is such a, it, it is the, it's, the, it's the best play you could possibly have on defense. You get a, another team a foul, they turn the ball over, it's, you're one foul closer to shooting than the bonus. You get your teammates excited. Um, so there, uh, there's not a, many more defensive plays better than taking a charge. And uh, you know, we did work on it a lot. I don't think the guys enjoyed it, but we, we did spend a lot of time on Monday. And then to have a guy like Chris, step up and take one or two and I think Mark tried to take one and Jace took one and and we still have some other guys that, that need to buy into it a little bit but uh, you know to have those guys respond from the practice do that in the game they got to understand how important those plays are and, and uh, it was good to see them do that. The scoring was spread evenly throughout the team tonight four players in double figures Jace Anderson led the way so the veteran leadership there and then you had Preston Beverly turning a huge game uh, on the boards, offensively, and then a big block there down the stretch too. Yeah, you know the uh, when you're only playing seven guys, all seven need to, um, all seven have to have to play. And you know we started with eight. Obviously, it looks like we got another injury there. We'll see what the uh, sig the uh, significance of that injury is tomorrow. But with seven guys, all all the guys have to play and, and show up and, and give us give us not only minutes but give us production. And and for the most part, you know I haven't seen I haven't looked at the box score, but for the most part, it looks like everybody did produce and. And, uh, you know, it's never good when you have as many sets of crutches on the bench as you do subs. But I guess it makes my life easier. It's pretty easy to, to, to figure out who I need to sub in and sub out. But, uh, yeah, we need to get healthy. And uh, it was good to see that the, the, uh, the production was spread out over everybody. And this game not counting on the record, just an exhibition. But what can that do confidence-wise as you head into two more counting games, Black Hill State Saturday and against University of Mary on Monday? Well, you know, we, we've talked a lot to this group. Obviously, we have a lot of, lot of roster turnover. We have six new guys. Uh, we have, um, you know, we talked a lot about just trying to build the culture of this program and the culture of this team. And, and um, 
we feel like that's you know that's going to be huge moving forward. We have three freshmen that are playing tons of minutes, um, and uh, you know we want to get we want to get the program and the team turned around. We we all know what we're coming off from last year. We did not have a successful year last year. We brought in these guys, and and I feel like all 13 guys have, are, are are buying in, and we're starting to get. You know that culture changed. Uh, those guys are they're holding each they're holding each other accountable. You know I don't have to spend much time, you know, getting on them uh, throughout the course of the game. It allows me and Coach Coach Schmidt and I the opportunity to, to coach and and so as soon as we can get everybody uh, everybody out of the out of the casts and and everybody back in eligible, I'm looking forward to, to seeing what kind of uh, group we have here, not only this year but moving forward.